Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how I create perplexity pages. There is a specific method that I use that I advise you to use. I don't advise you to just go into perplexity, write your keyword and, write, and ask it to write an article. There is something that you need to do first and I'm going to show you in this video. My name is Jesper Nissen and I'm the owner and founder of Yaks, leading platform for cloud links, building and schema writer leading platform for schema markup generation. What you need to consider uh, when you're creating perplexity pages is that uh, for me it's a three-step process. So the first step is actually finding the actual keyword that you want to rank for and the second step is posting to social media and the third step is actually creating the perplexity page. So let's go to step one first. Finding the keyword that you want to rank for. So if you have a local business the typical thing would be a one of your service pages. So it could be tree service in Alabama, tree service in, you know, the service and city name that you want for rank that you want to rank for. That that could be the, the keyword. Or if you have a blog section, like in the case of my website, yespanism.com, I have these blog posts here, Parasite SEO with social media, seven social media profiles for Parasite SEO, and so on and so forth. These keywords or these blog titles could all be valid keywords actually. Like we search for Parasite SEO with social media. What you're seeing here when I'm searching for this keyword, I have been active on social media because I have the video ranking number one here. And then I am ranking here also down here. And then I'm ranking here and here. And this is also me. And uh, this, this is me and this is me and this is me. And uh, yeah, so I have a, a couple of positions on page one. I'm obviously, as you can see, I'm ranking number one with the video up here. So I have been active on social media. And uh, so that's for this keyword. What I am trying to, or what I'm, I'm, I'm testing on uh, currently, and you'll notice this if you have watched any of my, or some of my previous videos, is I'm using this schema writer WordPress plugin. So this search term I'm using as my test search term. So each time I'm encountering a new AI parasite, or if I discover a new social media that I want to try to post on and uh, try to index these posts, I'm uh, posting about this keyword, Schema Writer WordPress plugin, because Schema Writer obviously has a WordPress plugin, right? This would be my keyword. So once you have identified the keyword that you want to rank for, you need to post on social media. And the social media that I recommend are Facebook, LinkedIn, in X, Threads, Instagram, YouTube, YouTube, uh, let's say Reddit also. And uh, so I would say that uh, these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are my favorites. And I can actually have a list here. Let's just see if I struggle to remember. I can just go in here. These, uh, I actually have them all here. But the reason that I like these these guys here, Facebook, LinkedIn, X, Threads, Instagram, YouTube, Reddit, is because they have a chance to rank on page one, in my experience. So you'll notice that when I search for Schema Writer WordPress plugin, oops, and we can just scroll down, actually just see what, what is ranking. So we can see Facebook here, right? We can see threads here, we can see LinkedIn. And if we proceed to page two, and now I'm only I'm only looking at uh, the social media accounts that are free. So we see Reddit here, we see YouTube, we see X, we see Instagram and YouTube and, and Facebook and so on and so forth. So uh, so this is this will probably be the same pattern that you will see for your long tail keywords that uh, they might not rank unless it's a YouTube video, they might not rank at the top. The reason that uh, Parasite SEO with social media that are ranked number one is was because it's a YouTube video and they rank extremely well. When you're searching for this keyword, you can just go in and inspect the SERPs and you can just directly see well what ranks for this keyword. It probably will be the same for your keyword, right? So that's number two. Then you go into perplexity and the reason that you wanted to post to social media first is that you want these social media posts to index and rank on page one. Because when you are writing a, a, an article using perplexity, write an article about schema writer WordPress plugin. Oops. What you'll notice is that 
perplexity is actually searching in Google and it's searching in top 10, 20, I don't know, whatever, but it's searching in Google and it's, it's actually using the top results as sources for its information. So what you're looking at here, so I, I just wrote right an article about Schema Writer WordPress plugin. Schema Writer WordPress plugin offers a streamlined powerful way to boost your site's SEO and so on and so forth. And I can click here and it uses my own website as two sources. And you can see the sources up here, my Facebook page, my website, my own actually perplexity guide that I wrote a couple of months ago and a Quinn page that I also made Uh, some months ago. And when you scroll on, you can see the entire list of the 17 sources that uh, Perplexity used for this article. And this is, of course, revealing what are the sources. So you can see Facebook, my website, Perplexity, the one that I made, Gwen, Schema Pro, that's a competition uh, plugin, my own website, WordPress.org, my own website, LinkedIn, Skype page, also about me. I don't know who Beyond Tools are, but they're writing about Schema Writer, again, WordPress, and so on and so forth. And you can see down here, Reddit and Instagram actually also. So that's the three-step process. Post about your long tail keyword to the social media, at least the ones that I have here, because they can and will index and they can rank on page one, of course, obviously depending on the competition. I'm not talking about uh, competitive keywords here. I'm talking about long tail keywords, uh, typically you own a local business is local SEO keywords. And in this case, it, it works extremely well. Once you have uh, written your article, I can go in and I can change this. How, how to use, yeah, how to use Schema Writer WordPress plugin, dude. So now it, uh, now the title is how to use Schema Writer WordPress plugin. Oh, okay. So now it's rewriting. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, it's still using actually my, uh, let's just see here. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's still using my sources because it's searching in Google and it's still my sources. And so the thing is that if you don't post to social media and you do what I just told you, the sources will not be your websites. It could be, and it will in many times, in many times be your direct competi competition. The way that I see it, there is, absolutely no need to create a perplexity page that ranks on page one and then it links out to your competition. Why would you want to do that? Because it's giving your competition free traffic. Nobody wants that, right? So you need to do this, what I just told you. You need to, to post to your own websites first. You need to make them rank and then you can create your perplexity pages. It, it makes no sense to just create a perplexity page, get traffic, And it's just your competition that's stealing the traffic. So you need to make sure that you're the sources here. Let's see here. And again, I can see that it's my own uh, websites that are sources for this particular keyword. I hope it makes sense, guys. And uh, I think it does because it's fairly straightforward. Uh, and you can always go in afterwards. Once this uh, page is done, you can always go in and, and add more information and uh, add banner images and show that in a previous video how, how to do that. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice weekend and I'll see you in the next one.